So, as soon as you can see easily that the structure and the functional images are not aligned very well. The angle of orientation of the brain is different. This looks a bit like turned upwards. And the, uh, the horizontal displacement is there. You see, at this point, the structural is already finished. And the functional goes far beyond the limits of the structural. And the same for the other side. Here, the structural extends longer than the functional. Uh, this is where you have to control it manually, but you don't have to be extremely accurate. You have just to put those two images approximately in the same space. And also, the orientation of both of those images should fit more or less the canonical template. Let's go to our presentation where everything is explained very well. The template I'm speaking about comes from Montreal Neurological Institute or MNI. MNI is the abbreviation you will see very often when you work with neuroimaging literature because it is a conventional pretty universal uh, coordinate system in neuroimaging uh, as you can imagine there are three coordinates for every point of your image. First coordinate, X, is left-right direction. On the left, it is a negative value. On the right from the midline, it is a positive value. Zero just in the middle. The uh, Y coordinate also can be positive and negative, and it is a sagittal direction. The zero point is at about uh, anterior commissure, which is a white matter bundle connecting two hemisphere at hemispheres at this point and which is pretty easy to identify in a, any structural image we will we will try to find it in our uh, data sample a bit later the brain is oriented uh, in the direction that ac is approximately aligned with uh, PC, posterior commissure, which is not visible in this image. Uh, so the positive Y values stand for anterior portion of the brain and the negative Y is for the posterior portion of the brain. And the last coordinate is Z. It is a vertical displacement and the positive value is a bow dorsally from anterior commissure and 
z is negative z z is ventrally from anterior commissure zero 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 coordinate is about anterior commissure but not exactly the next step is even more complex here you deal with the rotations you will have to apply for your neuroimaging data those rotations are called pitch roll and yo this is how i try to memorize it in the most efficient way the pitch is the rotation around the y-axis and it gives you sort of nodding movement like if you say yes this is pitch the roll is rotation around the x axis which gives you sort of motion of the head when you are sorry about something from side to side and the yo it's very easy to remember it is rotation about z-axis and it gives you negation motion like if you say no this is you hopefully it sounds clear for you and you will have to use this knowledge practically at the next step since we are going to align our structural sample to the canonical image. First of all, you have to open both of them using the check edge button. And then I will show you how to create those nice contours projecting one image onto the other. This is the initial view you have to get and this is the resulting view you get where you see that the alignment of the canonical images and, and your uh, individual sample is still not perfect because the shape is not the same, obviously. But it is already better than what we have seen before. In order to get there, you will have to apply those uh, displacements and rotations onto your uh, structural image. Let's go to SPM and do it properly. Press check range. Uh, here in the previous menu option you can find folder SPM12 go there see the folder canonical and pick average 305 T1 image that is why actually it doesn't look as clear because it is the average of many individual subjects hopefully you see it SPM 12 canonical average 305 next you go to Structural folder 
project structural image. We press done. And you see the result. Now, how to go into reorient mode? Right click on the image you want to reorient, which is your individual image. There will be a menu. Pick reorient images and click on current image. And you see the result. Now it is much easier to see how well the two images are aligned. And in the interactive window of SPM, you see all the parameters. Okay. 